Well, this win was really big for us, not only the first win, but it's always big to beat a 4A school, you know, prove ourselves, especially after last week we had such a rough week, and I think we proved ourselves to the county that we, we are capable of putting up points on the board and beating big teams. It's been three years. I've been on this varsity team three years, and it's just, and the mindset is, has always been, you know, oh, they're 4A, you know, they're bigger than us, it's Puerto Ridge, you know, and, and they've always had great athletes, and, and a lot of times they just outplayed us. But a lot, sometimes it was our attitude too. This year we came out with the attitude that, hey, they're just another football team. We've got athletes too. And you know, it's a different year. Man, it's just a different year. The attitude is different. You're down 20 nothing in the first half. I hear you talking to your line saying, you know, don't give up. we got to rally now. You, you guys never hung your heads. Uh, well, we knew coming into the week that we were going to face adversity. And that's what we talked about all week was facing the adversity and conquering the adversity. You know, that's something we struggled with last year. They got on us, like, I think it was like 21 to nothing, just like it was this year. And that, I think that's how Coach Mass has really changed us is, you know, this year we were ready to respond. And uh, <clears throat> we always talk about it, all the leaders do, about how since our freshman year we've run extra sprints after practice, and we call it Porter Ridge period. So tonight we were out here, and it was the fourth quarter, and we were down by a touchdown, I think. You know, we all held up our four fingers and we said, it's Porter Ridge period, baby. This is what we've been practicing for for four years. It's been three years for me. This was just the senior year. I had to do it. And that, those big runs, that was just that's what I wanted. I wanted. Talk about that young offensive line and the holes that they were opening up for you in the second yeah. half. Man, they play their asses. Excuse me. But they, those guys, undersized, like you said, young, That first, some of them first time starting on varsity. And they have busted their butts when Coach Nag Paul, and they have learned the stuff, gotten in shape, and even with their, you know, even with their size, just learned techniques. And and they're open, like you said, they're opening those holes for me, and I, and giving me room to run, and giving Cam plenty of time to throw against bigger defensive linemen, and stronger defensive linemen. And that's just heart, you know, that's heart, and and I'm so proud of them. Like I said to the team before, and like you heard me say, we're only going to go as far as the offensive line takes us. And, it, you know, they had a great game tonight. No sacks. But maybe one sack, but it was my fault for not getting rid of the football. Uh, so, you know, I got to give all the credit to those guys. Uh, Coach Massey put us in a great situation to be successful. You know, he listened to some of our guys whispering in his ears about some big plays, uh, play action-wise. Now, that last play that Cameron ran in, that was that ball going to you initially, the play? Yes. It was called for you, right? Yeah, it was called for me, but I couldn't get open. So Cameron, being the smart guy he is, ran the ball, took it himself, and big things happened. It was really cool for us just to get this win. And, you know, it's not only just the win. It was against these guys. It was our first of the season. You know, one that nobody but the 52 guys we got thought we were going to win it. So for us, it's a, it's a big win.